you guys welcome back to my channel i am going to be reviewing this hair today by beauty lumina it is a wig that i ordered off of amazon i do want to say i apologize for the delayed video i am going to be trying to post once a week so hopefully i you know get back on track with that but right now i'm just showing you guys everything that is inside the box when you get it um it didn't really come with anything but the wig but i did want to show you guys the packaging and what everything looked like so you guys could know for yourselves so I am washing this hair because one, you should always wash your wigs when you first get them, but I'm washing it before doing anything else to it because um, it did come with a little bit of a scent and I've never actually experienced this with any of my wigs before. So I did wanna wash that smell out of there. It was bothering me a little bit. So you guys are gonna see me here washing the hair. This will forever be my favorite part, dyeing the wig. I did decide to dye this hair jet black just because I didn't want the natural color. I wanted it more black than I did natural. And so I bought two jet black dyes from Adore. And this is my favorite brand for dyeing hair. Um, so if you guys don't have like a brand that you is your go-to, I promise you Adore is a really good brand for dyeing hair. The color lasts, it's very really vibrant, and it's just worth it, okay? <laughs> So right now I'm going to be dipping the hair into the dye and I will just be dipping it a couple times and then let it sit for a few minutes. I do want to let you guys know I didn't show it in the clip but I did dip it and leave it sit for a couple times. Uh, the reason why I did this is because there was so much color left in the sink and I just wanted to make sure that the hair was picking up everything just because we know natural hair when it's wet looks pretty black anyways so it's kind of hard to tell if the hair was really getting coated all the way which is why I lifted a couple times just to make sure that every strand was completely hit. So just a tip for anybody who's new to doing any type of dyeing to hair, you should rinse it out with cold water and rinse it until you no longer see color coming out into the sink or the tub or wherever you're rinsing the hair. This is just because there is going to be that extra layer of hair dye on top of the hair that did not go into the hair and is not needed because the hair already absorbed everything it needed to. So you wanna rinse with cold water to make sure you're not taking any color out that doesn't need to be taken out and to make sure that what's on top does come off. So I'm currently showing you guys the items that I'm using to bleach the knots on this wig. I did use a 30 volume developer and I just used powder bleach as well. And I mixed them together until they made like a butter-like consistency. And I used the butter knife as well to spread this on here. And I do wanna let you guys know, I am new to bleaching knots. I am not a pro at this by any means. Um, and I did actually end up over bleaching the knots, but I did want to just show you guys the process just for anybody who's wondering what you need and how to do it. But if you guys really want in-depth details, you should probably find somebody else on YouTube. I'm sure there's a video around here that shows you exactly how to bleach the knots. But again, this was just my first time, but I did just want to add it into the video just so you guys can see the full process. So 
So you wanna make sure that you have some aluminum foil to set over your wig once you are done bleaching the knots um, and just let it sit for like 20 minutes or so and to make sure everything is bleached. So I did not show you guys, but I, like I said, I did over bleach the knots and what I did to fix that is I just took some more of that black hair dye and I put it on the spots that were over bleached just to, you know, cover it up. If you do not have any more black dye left or whatever dye that you're using, you can always go in with some eyeshadow. I did that because I did miss a couple spots with that dye anyways. So I went back in with some black eyeshadow just to fill in the spaces later on. But right now I am just blow drying the hair, just trying to make sure everything gets dry. This hair, you guys, was extremely soft. Like, one, probably one of the softest wigs I've ever had. And maybe that's just because this is one of my first natural wigs because I'm used to buying 613 blonde wigs just because I love to dye hair. Um, but yeah, this wig was com like extremely soft and I loved it. Also, you guys, I'm not sure if I show this later on, but I do use a serum when I'm blow drying and flat ironing the hair. The serum that I use is the Garnier. It's like a green bottle of serum with a little pump. I recommend this, you guys. It smells amazing, it smells really fruity, and it makes your hair really shiny and soft um, without giving it like that greasy feel. So I do recommend that one. Right now, guys, I'm just showing you guys I braided my hair. I think I put like five or six braids in. And I'm right now I'm just going to be stretching out the wig cap because I want it to be able to fit right on my head and be thinner because the thinner the wig cap the better. It's going to make it blend way more seamlessly. So you guys do need to make sure you cut holes for your ears. The reason why you need to do this is because you want the wig cap to lay down as flat as you possibly can so that everything can just look more natural once it's done. Um, and so you just need to cut the ear tabs. Be careful when you're doing this and make sure you pull the wig cap up so that you don't end up cutting yourself. But right now I'm just gonna be taking some got to be spray and I'm gonna be going in small sections to do this and I'm just gonna show you guys that process. Um, and the reason why I do this is just to make sure everything is coated correctly and I don't have to go back over anything. So now we just need to wait and let this dry down. All right, so once it is dry, you want to take some kind of comb or something to go underneath the cap and just line everything up to fit your hairline or whatever hairline shape that you want to make this fit. This is just so when you go to cut the wig cap off, nothing gets in the way and everything can just be already placed perfectly and just make everything easier on you. I did have to actually go in and spray some more got to be spray over by my ears, which happens to me a lot, which is pretty annoying, but it's okay, we can get through it. And I'm just gonna be taking one of those single razors and cutting off the wig cap. I am placing this razor pretty flat against my head, so please be careful when you guys are doing this not to cut yourself. Now, this next step is new for me. I never really sewed down the back of the wig cap. I did this time just because, I don't know, I wanted to make sure that the cap wasn't lifting and my braids were pretty loose, so I wanted to make sure they also didn't come out in the wig as well. So my sewing here is very sloppy, but again, I'm just showing you guys so you guys can see the process of everything and you guys can perfect it for yourself. But this is just the process of what I'm doing and I just wanted to sew it down just to make sure my braids stayed intact. Oh, also you guys, make sure you're using a curved needle for this. So this next step, you guys, I kind of had to learn on my own because I don't know, every YouTube video I watched, I really didn't get this part. But basically, the key to making the wig look flawless and look like your natural hair is to make sure that your wig cap is melted down. The way you do this is you take some glue, the wig glue, and you put this all over the wig cap and you need to make sure it's on the cap as well as your forehead. And you want to spread this flat as you can and let it dry till it's completely dry, not tacky or anything. This is gonna make your wigs look amazing. I am telling you, this process helps so, so much. 
The next big step that you do not want to miss is putting makeup on your wig cap. This is going to help to make it look more like your skin and make you look like you're actually bald and that's what we want. So pick a foundation powder that is very close to your skin tone if not perfectly matching your skin tone and put this all over the cap. Basically just put it where the lace is going to be because you don't need it going any farther than that. But just put this on there and please don't be dumb like I was and use a liquid foundation because then the foundation will seep through the cap, get on your hair, and it's also going to make your scalp very itchy compared to already it being itchy just because you have a wig on. So we don't want that. Now my friends, this step is small, but it is just as important as the rest of them. You need to make sure you take some alcohol and clean your forehead. This is gonna help the wig stick nicely. Right now you guys, I'm just putting this wig on, trying it on just to see how it's going to fit on my head and to make sure everything is in the right position. That way when I start to glue it, everything is set right. So right now you guys, I'm just prepping to sew the wig down. I am going to be sewing it to my um, wig cap just because I wanted to make sure there's no lifting or anything and I am new to this process so I just wanted to let you guys know it was a very sloppy sewing um, job but you know it was just something to get it to stay down hopefully I get better with this in time. Also, I forgot to add you guys, I am sewing the elastic band back into the wig because when I cut the ear tab off, I cut too much and the elastic band did come off. Sorry you guys, I know I am talking so much, but I just wanted to make sure I give details about everything that I'm doing. I'm zoomed in to show you guys exactly how I am sewing this into the wig. Um, I'm sorry that it's not the best image, but this is what I'm doing and I hope that it helps somebody. Don't forget to cut your ear tabs. I did mention I already cut the other ear tab, but this one I did not. So you just wanna make sure you cut your ear tabs to fit your head um, and make sure you're doing it to where it's going to fit comfortably. I used to not cut it enough and it would hurt my ears and you don't want that, you guys. It's finally time to start the install you guys and what I like to do is I like to cut the lace into three sections. This just helps me so that I can focus more on one part than the other and I like to glue down the middle part first. So you guys, I know this angle is not the best angle to see what I'm doing, but I promise you guys are going to see it with the two other sides. But just to let you guys know, you need to make sure you put a decent amount of glue down and you want to spread it down as flat as you possibly can. And you're going to let this sit until it dries clear, but make sure that it's still tacky to where the wig will stick to it. 
right here you guys i'm just going in with a second layer of glue um i didn't do this on the other two sections just because i honestly forgot that i was doing it but the reason why some people put two layers of glue is just to make sure that the wig lasts longer it will hold on a much longer period of time than if you use one layer of glue When you are laying down the lace, you wanna make sure you're using the teeth of the comb instead of the backside of the comb, just to keep from making a mess. So we're all done with laying down the lace and now we're just going to be tying it with a satin scarf and we're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. You can leave it overnight, honestly that's the best melt you can get. You're almost done you guys. I'm just going to be taking this wax and I'm going to be putting it on the top of the wig. Basically you want to section the hair and just go over with a hot comb and wax to make sure you can get it down as flat as you possibly can. This hot comb I got off of Amazon, I really do like it a lot. It gets really hot and it always does the job amazingly. And it wasn't that expensive, it was like $20. I can put the link down in the description box for you guys if you're interested in buying one. It is an electric one. But we are also going to be flat ironing the hair as well. And I did want to be 110% honest with you guys, I was a little lazy through this process just because I was trying to rush. Um, I was getting really tired at this point. I was doing this for maybe five hours long. Um, so yeah, and my kids were just, going crazy at this point so I wanted to hurry up but we're just going to be flat ironing it hot combing it and using that wax to really flatten everything down and then that's pretty much it you guys so I'm going to let you guys watch this until I need to speak again Once again, you guys, we are going to be cutting this lace just like we did with the bald cap. Um, you're going to be going as close as you can and use a single razor head. The reason why this works better than scissors is just because it creates that jagged look, which makes it look a lot more natural. If the line is going straight across, you can just tell that it's just a wig and we don't want that. We want it to look as natural as possible. So I suggest you guys get you um, these razors. You can buy a full bag of them off of Amazon. That's what I did. Or you can find them for a dollar at your local hair store. I did notice when I got done cutting off the lace that I had a couple areas that were lifting. So I just took some more glue and put it in those spots and we're just gonna let that dry as well. And of course you guys, you're gonna need to go back in with your makeup and just put that over the lace just to make sure it blends in with your skin as best as possible. This really did help the lace make it look more realistic with for me. And um, this is actually my first time using a powder foundation. I typically use a liquid foundation, which I mentioned before, and a powder foundation, you guys, just changes the game, I promise.
And you guys, don't worry about that little spot of glue there. It will be dried down later on where you cannot see it, but I feel like I was just rushing the process and I laid the lace down a little bit too early, but I promise it won't be there later. Okay y'all, so now we are at the end of this video and I just wanna say I am so happy with the way this wig turned out. Look at this insole, y'all. Like, my insoles have been getting way better since my Yobi Sahir video, which I'm so proud that it has because that was just not it. But look at this lace, y'all. Anyways, I do wanna say this hair, I 10 out of 10 recommend for anybody. This wig is from Amazon as well as my last wig, um, but this one I am just in love with. It looks so freaking natural. First of all, I ordered a 20 inch wig, or I ordered an 18 inch wig, and this is how long the hair is. Girl, that is not 18 inches, that is way more than 18 inches. I would say this wig is like, they gave me like a 22, which I'm not upset about because I originally wanted a long, wig anyways. I don't know, I feel like this, they're on, next to the Yolisa hair, I feel like I'm gonna start ordering from them. This wig, I kid you not, you guys, this cost me $139. It is a body wave, 18, 18 inch body wave, 150% density, and this cost me $139. Came way longer than I expected. On top of that, it came in like three days. I had just ordered it a couple days ago. It came in so fast. And yeah, it's super soft. I love it. I'm definitely gonna start ordering from this company way more. It's called Luminous or Beauty Luminous or something like that. It will be linked down below for you guys and also the name of it will also be in the title. But yeah, this is an amazing wig. Like people, if y'all have not heard of this wig or bought from this company before, you are sleeping on them. This is an amazing wig, especially for the pricing. Like I said, I paid $139. And I have never paid that much for an 18 inch. Usually it's 180, 160, around that. Like, you know, it's more. But this wig was definitely, definitely, definitely cheap. And you get it so quickly. So it's definitely worth your money and your time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm so sorry the way that it's all cut around. I was trying to make another video while I was doing this. And I was trying to rush because I have things to do. My mom is coming tomorrow, so I have to clean the house. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Please, if you are new, um, please hit that subscribe button for me and like and comment on this video. I would really, really appreciate it. Please share this video if you can. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.